In this video, I'll be going over some penny stocks that I'll be looking at and probably buying at some point in the month of December. But before I get into the video, if you haven't checked on my channel before, I talk about investing, I talk about the stock market, really anything that has to do with money. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, definitely head over to my channel, Investing Potentials, and consider subscribing. But other than that, getting right into the video, there'll be four penny stocks that I'll be talking about. And I might talk about a couple other just smaller ones at the end of the video. But uh, before I get into it, uh, just so you know, penny stock, uh, really just penny stocks in general and any sort of day trading that or swing trading that you'd probably do with penny stocks are relatively risky, especially if they're penny stocks compared to just normal stocks. Uh, one being that they're you know relatively low in price and there's probably something off about the company if they're that low in price. But in this video, I try to find some stocks that are penny stocks, but at the same time are pretty decent overall, um, even though that is generally hard to do. But anyways, getting into it, the first stock I'll be talking about is uh, Groupon, ticker symbol G-R-P-N. And Groupon pulled up right here, right around a little over $5 now. So I would still consider this a penny stock. Some people might not, but I definitely would because I really consider anything under you know $5, $6 a penny stock. But if we look at Groupon really quickly, how it's done over the past couple of months and a year or so, um, it actually is down slightly over the three month, down on one month. Um, honestly, it offers up a pretty decent buy-in point for them. Uh, they're up pretty significantly on the year, 45%. And five-year, they are barely up because they have been dipping uh, over the past couple of years or so, but they are on a bit of an upward trend now. And just a couple things about Groupon is that they currently do not have a PE ratio, but they are getting closer and closer to profitability. And one thing that I like about Groupon is that uh, they really do have a monopoly in their specific uh, industry. There's really not a whole lot of other you know, apps or websites or really just companies in general that do what they do. And I think that Groupon is honestly pretty undervalued and that it definitely could be, hate, be traded at a much higher price than what it's at right now so the first stock on the list is Groupon moving on to the next stock I'll be talking about if we scroll down here is oh it actually don't have it up right there but uh, the next stock I'll be talking about is United Microelectronics ticker symbol UMC and I'm gonna pull them up right here um, United Microelectronics you probably haven't heard of this company before unless you're into the stock market but um, United Microelectronics engages in semiconductor foundry business and it offers, you know, really just uh, a lot of stuff to do with uh, semiconductors. So, I mean, if you're into that industry at all, you might have heard of them and probably have heard of them. But if you're just, uh, you know, relatively new stock investor or someone who's stock, you know, it doesn't isn't super invested in the stock market, you might not have heard of this company. <laughs> but anyways, if you look over just its basic stats right here, um, without looking at the price, you would honestly think that this is like a pretty solid company and would be surprised if you you know saw that it was actually a penny stock only trading at like two three dollars right now. And if you look over how it's done, it's actually down a bit on the three month, but on the year still in the green and on the five year still in the green as well and pretty decent this year 40 percent and even five year at you know right around 40 50 percent is even better than some blue chip stocks out there. And I, you know, talk about this penny stock often because if you look at some of its uh, just basic statistics on the Robinhood app here, it has a pretty decent PE ratio of 17. It has, uh, it's relatively large, not relatively large, but I guess relatively large for a penny stock company at a, you know, 5.8 billion market cap. And another thing that's actually pretty surprising and not a typical care characteristic of penny stocks is that it has a 3.31 dividend yield which is actually like a really really good dividend yield for honestly any stock out there especially with a stock with this kind of statistics like there are some stocks out there with obviously higher ones but whether or not those are sustainable could come into question but this is actually a pretty solid dividend yield and they have been giving it out for a decent amount of time so united Electro, uh, yeah, God, united microelectronics umc is definitely a pretty solid penny stock for any beginner investors that don't have a whole lot of money and might want to just buy a penny stock for the long term or something like that this is actually one of the stocks that i trade when I didn't have a whole lot of money in my portfolio um, so you could definitely look into this stock and I think that it will perform well over the next couple of months or so and it's actually at a pretty decent buy-in point as I said in before but moving on to the next stock if we scroll up again 
which I actually have in my portfolio right now, is this one right here, Chesapeake Energy, and uh, ticker symbol CHK. And if we look over uh, what this company actually is, you may not have heard of this company, but they um, engage in uh, natural gas and oil exploration, and, and it's just a production company. So your pretty basic gas and oil company um, from Oklahoma City, and if you're you know from that region at all, you've probably heard of them before. But uh, if you haven't, they're basically just an oil and gas you know energy company. And if you look over their statistics here, they have a 3.66 billion market cap. They currently don't have a P/E ratio, and they don't actually have a dividend yield right now. And if we look how they've performed over the past couple of years, uh, they are down quite significantly on the one year, and they are down a lot on the five year as well. But I do actually think Chesapeake might have a decent 2018, um, not just a decent month of January, but I also think they might have a decent 2018 um, for a handful of reasons. Um, one, if you just do some basic like technical analysis on their charts here, uh, it's kind of hard to look at, at the Robinhood app, but I think they're actually at a pretty decent buy-in point right now. I think they're pretty much bottoming out. And I think definitely during the second half of 2018, they might have some pretty decent gaining. But this is definitely one of the more, I guess, speculative picks, even though a lot of penny stocks are pretty speculative. I will admit that this is probably one of the more speculative picks on this list right here. Uh, they currently do not have a P.E. ratio, but they actually don't make terrible money if you're actually to look more in depth on some of their um, on some of their uh, statistics and stuff like that, uh, which I did. They actually have some pretty decent numbers all around the board, except in a couple places they're suffering, and whether or not you think oil and gas is going to be big in the next couple of years or so, or if you think just uh, <clears throat> electric, like electric energy or other things are going to take over, you know, that's obviously your own opinion. But even though I think that may be a factor, I think Chesapeake is at a really pretty decent buy-in point and another thing to note is that they also have a forward PE of five, which I think is, you know, isn't crazy significant, but I think that they might become profitable over the next couple of quarters or so. And if you look at their profit margin and operating margin, they aren't terrible either. The really only thing that I noticed or that stuck out was their quarterly revenue growth over the past year is actually in decline slightly, but I think they can bring that up as well. But anyways, moving on to the next stock I'll be talking about. Uh, the next stock, or penny stock, and the last stock I'll be talking about is at the bottom down here, which is Glue Mobile, ticker symbol, symbol G-L-U-U. -U. And Glue Mobile, I've talked about in the past, they're basically just a gaming company. They're a mobile game company, and you've probably heard of some of their games that they've come out with before if you, know, you play games or download games at all on your phone. But if we look at how Glue Mobile's performed over the past couple of years or so, actually up quite significantly on the one year. I mean, 85%. That's by far the largest on this list. And five year, they are up as well on a bit of an upswing right here. They have traded before around the five six dollar range, and they are nearing that range again, even though they're only at about three dollars sixty cents right now.